Okay, good evening. I'm back again. It's time to finish out Vagrant's story here. Um, I did go back and play a little bit in between our sessions here. I didn't go any further, obviously, because we're at the end. But I did go and find some enemies so I could use up all my grimoire. So we've learned all our spells that we had in our inventory. And um, yeah, um, made sure that we were fully uh, um, prepared up on our weapons and things like that as well. Um, so took around 20, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Uh, so you haven't missed much. But just to catch up on what's going on here. Um, so, what's the plan for tonight? Uh, well, I'm going to go through and watch the scenes going up to the boss here again one more time. So we have the context for this uh, video as well. And then I'm going to see if we can finish out the boss uh, tonight. And this may take 30 minutes or it may take 3 hours, uh, who knows. But I think we're in a pretty good uh, place here where we could potentially do it at least. Um, we did get some uh, helpful comments again on the YouTube videos from Francois, among others, um, about how to go about the boss. Um, the uh, big attack that killed me instantly last time, I believe, is potentially Dark Alliance. So we're going to see if we can put up. Uh, the uh, defensive ability that absorbs uh, dark damage. But uh, on that, I'm sure there's anything else that we need to say here. Um, yeah, let's jump in and we'll see. Oh, I suppose I did uh, drink a few HP elixirs as well. We got five points out of uh, three elixirs, so not great to yield, to be honest, but it's five more HP. Well, these days it might actually matter a lot. Um, then again, we're at the end there, so one of these days maybe it but, but won't. Um, so we're going to head up the stairs again here. Uh, before we do that, though, let's have a look at the defense. Uh, so. Yeah, demon scale. We're gonna put down that instead of the terror ward. Um, reflect magic. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure if it does any actual physical damage or not here up here, but we'll see. Um, um, I'm wondering as well how far the Bone Crusher actually goes. Apparently, it's possible to uh, potentially interrupt the uh, attack as well. Anyway, let's head up here and we'll see how things proceed for us. Uh, mm. What's this? You're late, Risk Breaker. Where's Merlot's? What happened to Kelda Merlot's? Worry not. I sent her to a safe place. She will escape unharmed. What has happened here? Look, you know. I wanted to help, father. 
The city was his only hope. You can see... I wanted to help father, as he helped me when I was born. He wanted the city destroyed, even if it meant his own death. Then he implored me, do not let them use it. The power. Stop him. Stop Gildenstern. Those who crave the dark cannot control the dark. You must stop him, kill him, before the dark sucks his living soul dry. Where is he? Ashley, I... I'm... I know. I love. Why? Forgive me, Samantha. I need your soul. Our cause needs a martyr. Your cause? There is no place for me for our dream. I love you, Samantha, as God is my witness. I, too, once thought so. Gildenstern. Come, Riskbreaker. Your death will be my rebirth. Celebrate my ascension. Right, um, sort of as we usually do here. And we're gonna need the buffers also. Uh, we should still be on Loft Fusions, I'm pretty sure. Now let's see what we can do to take him out here. Um, what's a good area to Shane? Let's try the head. Oh, that's the best. Spell. See how much damage we do without it. 80. That's still fine. It's fast. It's fast. I'm really going on too quickly with this second trailer. But doesn't matter too much for this first phase, we're well set up enough, I suppose.
forget that which pains you. You cannot reclaim what is lost to time. Let it go. There is only regret here. What difference does it make? Whether you lost a wife and child or killed an innocent family, you cannot bring back the dead. Your hands are tainted with blood. Proof or no, your sins are eternal. Release the past, look to the future. Join us, Ashley. Come home. There is no growth without birth. Without a foothold in the past, we cannot walk toward the future. Get thee gone, darkness. Papa! Forgive me, Marco. You must have been lonely. Nah, -uh, I'm brave, just like Papa. Tia. Welcome home, Ashley. You've done all you could for us. It was a short time, but. I knew happiness with you. You gave me a lifetime's worth of love. Don't cry, Papa. See, I'm not crying. See? But... This... Do not be misled by others' words. Believe your heart. I love you, Ashley. Come home, Agent Riot. Your story is not yet finished. Again, I don't think we uh, will be able to grab any sort of uh, uh, debuffs that we can put on the enemy here as well. We are. This is gonna have to be good enough. Judgment. Here we use an item to heal up here. Um, cure potions. Secure. Secure bug won't be enough. 
Uh, cure top. Let's look at that. Let's also see if we can hit with a break or do it. No, it's not quite in range. It's in here. Forty-eight. That's forty-eight percent. Yeah. Let's see if we can find an item that will restore our MP and risk potentially. Uh, Fifty HP. Fifty risk. I guess we don't have anything like that. Um, let's go ahead and use a mana bowl. Uh, it's been awkward chasing him down here this time. I feel like we, maybe we had bad luck with that last time around, but let's see how it goes here. Uh, where are you going? Right now. Gravity. That's too slow. Now we can use one of the reagents here, I feel like. At least. run out? Oh no. That's not good. If I could only get a hit in, I'd be very happy. So we can try to start chaining at least. Nostrum is to be topped off here. Please see if we can get a hit in. Or in range, can we get a break art in? 
moving in the opposite direction from the boss as we circle around here. Oh, here is the judgment again. Wait longer. I'm not sure if this is. First, great card again. That's a miss. Then we'll go ahead and uh, use a Cure potion. Time to go back up. Right about now is the point where I wish I would have a. Uh, about now is the point where I wish I had a uh, rich weapon to be sure here, but okay, where are you going right? again Let's see if we can do it about Let's see if we can potentially get it in it would be long overdue here here we are so arms head let's go for the head has the best chance of hitting right now Just to react to this, or no? Okay, yeah, we do. Um, let's put on our shield and sword uh, for now, just to up our uh, defenses a bit here. I think we may need it. Um, Except on it. Uh, let's see here. I think we would use that. Uh, Demonia. This is power against evil enemies. I wonder if we should just put in um, more luck yet and a demonia. 
I'm not sure if that's gonna help us anything at all here or not, but let's go for it. We'll spot back later. Probably should uh, buff our. Should probably uh, prostate as much as well. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, here's the blood scene. setup though seems to have worked very cool um if that's the case uh let's pop back again to our hammer We're ready to do the same thing again if we need to. Right. And shot that again. Go ahead and grab some more MP. Uh, So we have more of them. Um, basically, here. Right. Maybe this speeds up after a while, alright? Uh, not close enough. Judgment again. Yeah, let's see if we can break art. One hundred and nine. Huh? Can we get another hammer art in? We can. Let's see if we can get a bird as well, if we're lucky. That's a miss. And now we're too far out. Um, let's cure up. And we'll see if we can find another opportunity to hit here. Buff up again. know how much HP this one has. We've gotten some good big hits in, but 
not sure if that's gonna be enough. That's it. Sure is breaking apart here at least. That's an explosion to be sure. Ashley! Quickly, it's all collapsing. But Agent Wright, there is no time. Then we are finished. We must tell them what happened here. Lee and Isa. Come back alive, Tiger. Alive. Now the slowest dance begins, partner. It's a fine tomb we shall share. City crumbles, the enemies dissipate. Gods be with you, right? No! Pardon, stay here, don't go!
You speak. At last. The terror. I am sorry. I haven't seen the abyss of their own. Oh, let's see. Took by Dwarva's secondary residence, Greylands, one week later. Well met, Sydney. So, it is done. You have suffered much. I too have played my part. Let us leave the rest to this Ashley. He is the one you have chosen. I know what must be done. I was not much of a father to you. Forgive me, my son. Sire, Your Excellency. Someone, bring water. Our Lord has fallen. Who walks there at this hour? What is your business? Show your papers. <laughs> Calamar Lowe's, VKP Inquisitor. My lady, I beg your forgiveness. It is no matter, you were merrily doing your duty. Thank you, my lady. So, Ashley has truly inherited in the dark here, it seems. And so began the story of the Wanderer, the Vagrant. The Phantom Pain Vagrant Story Yes, we did it! Here's the credits! Oh, starring Ashley Riots, Sydney Lostrat, Romeo Gildenstern, huh. 
supporting cast, Caliber Lowe's, John Harden, Jan Rosencrantz, Commander Dwayne, Grissom, Samantha, Tiger, Nisa, Joshua, Corinne, Bardorba, Aldous, Byron, Bardorba. Indeed. So, done and that's it. We only need one try, even if it took a while to actually get the hits in. Cool. The game is done. Um, there is a new game plus. We're not gonna do that on uh, this series here. Uh, I need to get back to Final Fantasy if I'm gonna finish up that project anytime soon. But yeah, this was a really nice little detour to take. Very different in a lot of ways from the previous one we took for uh, Chrono Trigger. I think uh, Chrono Trigger definitely skews closer to the main Final Fantasy series than this does. This is highly experimental in a lot of ways, I think. Uh, both in terms of presentation, I don't think that there were many other Square games at this time that uh, use, you know, entirely 3D models and, uh, and backgrounds or areas, uh, environments, at least not to the degree of this game here. And it really works, it re you know, it, it's super uh, compelling in terms of the presentation in a lot of ways. Uh, but what I find interesting about it as well is that in games development we often talk about uh, player psychographics and um, you know player um, what's the word I'm looking for reasons for uh, players to uh, play the games they play. Um, so we're often talking about. Uh, different types of players. What do they like? What do they uh, enjoy? And I feel like this is a game that sort of speaks to two different player um, um, motivations at the same time. You do have the presentation, the story, and you know it's really well told. Again, I think it's up there with things like um, Metal Gear Solid for the best presented stories and scenes from the console. But you've also got this really nitty gritty, let's get down and do a lot of math for uh, the combat system here. And it, it's two player motivations that don't necessarily seem to gel very often. And I'm sure there's, there's many players who enjoy both aspects of the game here. I'm not saying that it's impossible to you know, like them both at once, because I definitely do. But it's not a, it's not the motivations that lend themselves to mixing uh, quite as easily as maybe uh, psychographics that are closer to each other, so to speak. Um, with that said, I, I I've really enjoyed my time through here. Obviously, I'm very lucky to have had some help along the way in the comments, for example here. Again, I have to shout out to Francois and the YouTube comments because uh, it's really helped me understand how the systems work together much better. And, you know, I wouldn't say I'm good at the game by any means yet. Uh, I think that there's probably more I don't understand intuitively than I do understand intuitively at this point. But. Uh, I, I know enough to get me through here, at least. Uh, even if we probably weren't optimal throughout many of the fights that we've gone through. Ocean actor is Ashley. Ah. I'm wondering... How, for the motion actors, how they capture the reference here. I assume it might be... Just video, uh, shooting video, and uh, you know, using it as reference rather than any actual motion capture in the modern sense here. That said, you know, there's certain uh, you know animations 
think particularly when we saw body falling off the roof here earlier. That just seemed way too uh, good for something of this uh, you know, period of time. It looked like something that could have had you know actual physics, and I'm assuming it yeah probably didn't have very much in terms of that physics simulation. So yeah, you can really tell the crop in the game, you know, uh, throughout many many different uh, disciplines here. Obviously, the art that goes going on in the background here is fantastic. I do really like uh, the art style. Uh, here, and I'm blanking on the name of the uh, concept artist and art director here right now, but this is a style that we'll see not exactly mimicked, but uh, some, something close to again when we get to Final Fantasy 12 in our playthrough. And it's going to be interesting to see how many things we can recognize from Vagrant Story here in... Uh... Oh hey! Our European friends, Patrick Fraser. Well, it goes Interesting, interesting. <laughs> right, right. Anyway, uh, yeah, this is it for Vagrant Story, as mentioned here. It's been nice to take it a bit easier, you know, recharge a little bit. But yes, coming up next for us is going to be Final Fantasy X. Which released about the same time as this game, quite frankly. Just a year or so later in national uh, releases, I believe. Before we do that, though, let's make sure that we can... Oh, mission complete. Final score, 3,326,186 points. Risk Breaker Rank Destroyer. Let's make sure we save here as well. We have access to a... New Game Plus data if we want to come back to it any time in the future. Again, it's not going to be anytime soon, but it would be good to have, at the very least, here. Yes, please, let's overwrite this file. But yes, that's enough of this. This is it for Vagrant Story. Uh, thank you all very much for following along. Uh, it's been very good for Steve that there's some interest in uh, me playing through the game here. Hopefully you found it as good as I found it to go through. Um, and yes, that's going to be it. I will be back again, as I mentioned, with Final Fantasy X. I'm still debating if we're going to do it on the PS2 or if we're going to use the um, uh, Final Fantasy X, X2 uh, remaster. Uh, the They've re released. Um, let's see, jump into the menu here so we can talk uninterrupted about the music here. Yeah, I'm not debating if we're going to use original PS2 hardware and PS2 disc for the European version, um, which is the same as the uh, international version from the Japanese uh, market, I believe. Or if we're going to use. Uh, the re-release on uh, the uh, Final Fantasy X, X2 remaster version, uh, since I do have that on uh, Switch. Uh, I'm going to see what makes most sense in terms of uh, quality, in terms of uh, streaming here, um, and in terms of me being able to actually go through it without too many issues. But Hopefully, uh, we should be good to go on Friday here coming up. I'll see what I can do to experiment a little bit with setup before then. 
Anyway, that's it for tonight. Thank you all very much for following along and for this little uh, quick uh, ending to Baker's store here. Again, I thank you very much for following along. I will see you if you decide to follow me into Final Fantasy X. That's it. Good night, everyone.